Welcome to part 1 of the Marduk Basics Guide, Tekken 7 version 3.21. This will be the first Basics Guide that we split into three parts, the reason being that there's a lot to talk about with Marduk, even at a basic level, so rather than making one 30 or 40 minute video, it feels better to break it up a little bit more this time. This first video will be just slightly shorter than the norm, as we'll be going over just his essential moves, which are still pretty high in number. In a couple of days, you'll see part two uploaded, which will take a look at the common beginner tips and strategies that Marduk players will use. And then we'll finish it off with juggles, punishers, and notable players, just like we've been doing. So with that, let's get cracking on all these good moves Marduk has. We'll be talking about Valetudo later, but just for now, know that you'll be using this a lot as a Marduk player. Marduk's jabs are standard in terms of frames and such, but the string pressure is very strong and has a lot of different paths that he can take. We'll be talking more about these later as well. Forward 2 is a long range, safe, counter hit launcher. In fact, forward 2 1 counter hit launches at every point. Counter hit forward 2 is a launch. Counter hit forward 2 1 is still a launch. Even if you whiff the first hit, the second one is still a counter hit launch. Beyond that, you have a light mix-up opportunity with the extensions if your opponent likes to duck. Back 3-4 is the return of Marduk's old school back 4. It's long range and safe mostly due to pushback and it wall bounces. 4-3 is a bit slow but it's completely safe and has a confirmable launch extension which is only negative 11 on block. Forward 1 plus 2 is one of Craig's power crushes. It's quick, long range and knocks down, giving you some pretty decent oki, especially at the wall. Only negative 10, so it can be safe if you space it properly. You'll see Marduk players use this a lot. No hop kick from Marduk, so down forward one is his go-to I-15 launch. Negative 13 on block, just like a hop kick. No crush frames, unfortunately, but it's his fastest launcher, so you gotta use it. Down forward 2-1 is a quick, mid-mid natural counter hit combo. The first hit is safe, but the second hit is a good check against buttons, but it can also be delayed and confirmed for the counter hit. It also wall splats. Down forward 3 is more string pressure. We'll be discussing this later alongside with his jab strings because you'll be using this just as much. Instead of down forward 1, Marduk has down forward 4 as his I-13 mid poke. The full string is safe and a natural combo, does chunky damage and great plus frames on hit. The second hit is actually a counter hit launch as well, just remember that the second hit is high. Down 1 is a safe, somewhat quick mid poke, neutral on block but plus 5 on hit, knockdown on counter hit, but it's fairly linear so be careful. Down 2 is a quick safe mid mid chunky damage natural combo string. It is somewhat limited in range particularly with the first hit and it is somewhat linear so be careful with it. Down 3 is a quick long range chunky poke. Insanely safe for what it is. Also has excellent tracking. One of the best low pokes in the game in terms of risk versus reward. Down 4 is insanely quick has good range and decent tracking, and it high crushes. It's also a knee, so it cannot be low parry. You'll see this often, particularly as a round ender, but it is very unsafe on block, so keep that in mind. Down 1 plus 2 is a mid launcher that's evasive against highs. Safer, but slower than down forward 1. Very useful launcher at only negative 12 on block. Down back 2 is a safe mid counter hit launcher, also a wall splats and has decent tracking, very spammable. Back 2 is a safe mid long range counter hit launching homing move. Relatively quick, does about everything you could want a homing move to do. Back 3 is a safe chunky mid, plus 8 on regular hit, knockdown for a combo on counter hit, Decent range, but very linear, so be careful. Back 4 is a very quick, safe mid. Solid damage on normal hit, knockdown wall splat on counter hit. Good tracking to his right, another fairly spammable move. Up forward 3 is a safe mid, low crushing counter hit launcher. Still gives a knockdown on normal hit, but it's a tad slow and crushes late, 
frame 12, but otherwise is very abusable. Up forward 1 plus 2 is a safe, quick launcher, just be wary that it's a high. Forward forward 2 is a very quick, safe knockdown elbow, it is another high, so be careful. Forward forward 3 2 is a launcher that's a natural combo on counter hit, absurd damage if you land it, also a common juggle ender, it is negative 14 on block, but otherwise very dangerous for your opponent. Quarter circle forward 2 is a power low that goes under highs, has great advantage on hit, and insane damage on counter. Relatively safe at negative 12, does suffer from lack of range and can be stepped to his right. Full crouch 1 plus 2 is a safe mid hit, goes into a hit throw when it connects clean for really good damage. Full crouch down forward 4 is a bit slow and stupidly unsafe but very long range, plus 8 on hit, and knock down on counter hit for a free follow up. Not necessarily the best things for mix ups, but really good to mix in when the pace of the match is going quick. While standing 1 is a great quick mid poke, can go into VTS and has a follow up while standing 1 2, the second hit being very similar to forward 2, so your opponent has to be very wary of challenging while standing 1. While standing 3 is a rangy mid launcher, somewhat slow and pretty unsafe, but it's all he has in terms of wall standing launches, so you gotta use it. While standing 4 is a quick, safe mid knockdown knee. On counter hit, gives a free ground to hit of your choice. Really good pushback on block, so the negative 9 isn't as bad as it sounds. Insanely good move. Marduk has an extremely powerful rage drive. The initial hit does pretty good damage and it goes into a tackle mount mix up. Being that it can also be an air throw, it skyrockets his potential juggle damage. We're talking very easy 70 to 80% juggles. You just gotta guess right on the mix up. Otherwise, on block, it's still good as it leaves him face down at around plus six or so. From here, the two option is unbeatable and safe, but he also gets a mix up between that and the down two swipe. So one last quick reminder that this Marduk guide will have three parts, so keep an eye out for part two in the next couple of days. Otherwise, reminder that you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and most importantly, Patreon. Consider supporting the channel through Patreon as that will help me keep the channel going and improving. With that, I hope you enjoyed part one and we'll see you guys again very soon. Take care.